I, I don't know that we enjoyed it. The, the ride over there was just horrible. What city in Mexico was this? Chichen Itza. Yeah, but was it near uh, Cancun or where? Yeah. It's pretty close to Cancun. That's like, I don't know, 50, 70 miles, something like that. It's not really near anything. Yeah, you know, there at Cancun, across the harbor there, up on that mountainside, is some mine or Incas ruins, you know, that deals there, too. You got that haint over there. Small one in Cosmel, too. Then for CSW top of the hour, well, I missed the top of the hour. Well, I don't think you got it. W4ASE. K4MV. 7 4 Jessup. 48. Yeah, and 4 XP easy. You ain't uh, smoked nothing yet, Gary? No, it's time. here waiting. Bill, we rented a car and went out there from uh, from Cancun, and well, I would never do that again. Well, I was on a tour bus. We'd gone, and um, it was it was a, a factory trip, and they had arranged for a, a tour bus to take us out there, which is usually pretty much a, a drunken stupor all the way out and back. And they decided that <clears throat> they weren't going to pass out any beer to you. Till you started home. So by the time we got back, nobody knew where we'd been anyway. Well, every time, you know, we would go through a district, I think there was two of them, maybe one. You know, it, I don't know exactly their political system down there, but you, you can't, you can't, and that's not like driving from Tennessee to Georgia, you know. They actually have a border uh, between districts and they stop you and they come out and check your car and look at you and ask you where you're going, what you're doing. And we stopped and these little, these three little stoogy Mexicans with their, <laughs> with their greasy look, you know, come out, where you're going, you know, I expect them to say, in a minute, we don't mean no stinking badges. Yeah. It used to be the same way in Panama. You couldn't go from basically from state to state or county to county. Uh, they don't really have states, but they have um, political districts. You couldn't go without going through one of those checkpoints with La, the La Guardia. And if you were an American, you might want to slip them a fiver when you went through. <laughs> they were kind of expecting that. A little something for the, for the effort. When I went down there, we flew in and got off the airplane onto the bus and rode down through there. And you, when you cross from the airport going to Cancun, hell, you cross some border, they stand out there with damn loaded guns and everything checking you. Get off the ship down there in Mexico in some little old place that we got off. Uh, they, uh... They brought us in there on a, on a shuttle boat from our ship about 20 miles away. And uh, the whole little old town was uh, covered up with, uh, with soldiers walking around, these young, uh, young military types walking around with AK-47 slung around their shoulder. And by God, they had loaded to the hilt. You think they were actually loaded? I really do. They were... Kind of spooky, ain't it, BK? Yeah, they were in groups of three or four, and uh, they were all over that little that little village there, right on the cast. That's Was that when Castro was showing off so much? No, this was about three or four years ago. I know. I went to Cosmel ten years in a row, and when I first started going down there, it was really, really, really nice. And, then when, Con when Castro was getting sick, they was thinking about, I guess, some kind of whatever. Boy, they had they had so many blooming Mexican soldiers on that little old island. It it it, it made me think. Hey, well, Gary. If you go to Mexico now, it's dangerous to get off the beaten path because they will kidnap you down there for a thousand dollars.